Hey guys, Nicole here. Today I'm doing my complete guide on how I hacked PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. You're gonna learn about what I did for weight loss, the supplements that I take, and the skincare regimen that I do. Diagnosed with PCOS, I'm gonna refer to it as that from now on because it's a mouthful. <laughs> when I was in my mid 20s, I'm 36 right now. No, I'm old. When I was first diagnosed, my symptoms were the worst they have ever been, and I was also at my heaviest weight of 275 pounds. I have since lost 130 pounds for those who are new, but I want to tell you, when I first was diagnosed, I was desperate to find something to help with my symptoms. The major thing that helped was weight loss. And I'm gonna show you and give you some ideas of what I did to lose weight. But first I wanna say, I did a ton of research, I bought a ton of books, I asked doctors, I asked people who struggled with it, and I found a lot of things that helped, a lot of things that were recommended, and along the way I learned Sometimes what's recommended doesn't always work for everybody. So I wanted to do this video to help everyone who has it and especially those who are newly diagnosed and desperately looking for things that work. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist, a dietitian, anything like that. I'm just a girl who's got PCOS and has minimized the symptoms by doing these things. So I'm sharing what's worked for me and maybe they'll help you. So let's go with weight loss first. How I lost weight? I followed a fairly low glycemic diet, which means I ate an anti, a lot of anti-inflammatory foods like berries and spinach. And I ate whole grains, slow digesting and slow digesting carbs, which were in the form of whole grains. So basmati rice, is low glycemic. You can also use brown rice, but I found basmati worked the best for me. It's slower digesting and low glycemic. Oats, however, oatmeal is recommended, but regular oats do aggravate my PCOS. I found the gluten-free ones work a lot better and they don't bloat me as much. Also, I like the sprouted grain, whole grain bread. That works very well for me. And just plain old whole grain English muffins work. Anything whole grain I find helps keep me full, is slow digesting, and really helps not bloat me or irritate my PCOS in any way. So I ate those types of food in portions. So, and I, I ate food that I enjoyed. I just made sure that it worked with my PCOS. I used measuring cups, measuring spoons, and a scale to portion out my stuff. This scale we've had for years, it's called Perfect Portions, and we bought it at Bed Bath & Beyond for $50, like six years ago or more. Any scale will work from anywhere, Walmart, dollar store. Basically just measure, I measured out everything that I ate and eating less, I was able to lose one to two pounds a week. Like I said before, I lost a total of 130 pounds. Halfway through, some of my symptoms, like my cystic acne, completely disappeared. And other symptoms I still have, but they did fade. When I first started and was diagnosed with PCOS, when I first started losing weight, I had the worst dark patches in my groin area, under my breasts, in my armpits. It was so embarrassing to lift my arms even in the summer if I was wearing a tank top because they were so dark. Um, it looked really weird. And those completely faded. Like, you can see faint now, but it's almost gone. And my cystic acne, every once in a while during my, my menstrual cycle, I'll get some acne, but it has almost completely disappeared. And I'll show you also what I take 
to help with the acne as well. But losing weight really helped minimize my symptoms. Before I go into the skincare and the supplements, I just want to do a quick breakdown of what I did for portion control. So for portions, always check, I always checked the backs of packages for the serving sizes. So as you'll see here, a serving of oats was half a cup. So just to give you a ballpark, I started with five to six meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and two snacks. If I was really hungry, I would have a sixth small meal, but mainly breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. I ate about six servings of carbs, whole grain, slow digesting carbs, and again, check the backs for your serving sizes. Six servings of slow digesting carbs, seven to eight servings of fruit and veggies. I had most of the servings in veggies, so about six servings of veggies and two servings of fruit. Yeah, one cup of lettuce or spinach is one serving of veggies, I believe is how I counted it. And half a cup of the fruit is a serving of fruit. I had one to two tablespoons of healthy fats. So I used olive oil, nuts, and natural peanut butter. And then I had about three servings of three ounces of lean protein, any lean protein, turkey, fish, chicken, anything that you like, even lean pork chops, anything lean, three ounces at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, for breakfast, I tended to do, and I still do, a whole egg and some egg whites, about a quarter cup of egg whites. That's roughly what I did, just to give you a breakdown. Basically, I ate a balanced diet, all in portion. So I ate some of every food group, and I ate some yogurt and cottage cheese as well. So that's it for my portion control. Let's move on to the supplements and things. The symptom that still haunts me, hmm, hair loss. With PCOS, I get male pattern balding. Isn't that lovely? Um, I do have patches. You can't really see them when my hair is down, but when my I have a ponytail, I have a ton of patches, even here where my bangs are in my part. I don't know if you guys can see, but I do get a lot of patches of in my hair, like the front of my hairline. For all of you out there that make fun of my eyebrows, thank you very much. You can thank PCOS for that because my eyebrows fall out ladies and gentlemen, okay? She, she literally, uh, she can't grow hair there. I cannot grow <laughs> eyebrows. Listen to my words. PCOS <laughs> makes them fall out. I pull, I get handfuls of eyebrows in my hands every day. So if you want to pay for microblading for me, you can do that. <laughs> She's well aware that her eyebrows look jacked up. I She's cannot. well aware. <laughs> I cannot. I spend like 15 minutes making them look like this, okay? They look nothing like this. They're penciled in right now. I have no eyebrows. That's PCOS. I literally pull out handfuls of hair every time I wash my hair. Um, that is the male pattern, baldness, whatever you wanna call it. That is caused by the PCOS because it produces extra testosterone in the female body. I have just started using this biotin. It's basically just a natural supplement and it's supposed to help with the hair fallout so hopefully i know it's not going to grow my eyes back my eyes back my eyebrows back ladies mm. uh, who are concerned but it might help with my hair so i'm trying that out also with pcos my nails get really brittle and i'm i've heard that biotin can help with that as well um, I've, I've currently been using some nail strengthener and they seem to be getting better, but they are generally like paper thin and they break all the time. And that is because of PCOS. I did a lot of research and found that out. Um, I have been taking a couple of other things that I think are helping with that. Chromium and neem. Neem I just recently discovered 
it is, it comes in powder form. It's a natural, it's supposed to be like the healer of everything. It's like a cleanser. It is supposed to help with your immune system and help level out your blood sugar. Um, and you, you are, you do tend to be insulin resistant when you have PCOS, which means you carry a little ex excess belly fat and stuff that's really stubborn and hard to lose. So I got these gel capsules off Amazon and I just put some of the neem powder in a gel capsule every day. And I, don't, I found I feel a lot flatter in my stomach and I feel like my hair and nails are actually doing fairly decent since I've been taking the neem. And I also take this chromium. I take two of these for a total of 400 of the MCGs, whatever you call that, a day. Um, this I got from Walmart, the biotin I got off Amazon, and the neem I, I got off Amazon with the capsules as well. But chromium also helps lower your blood sugar levels, your blood glucose, and I have found, like I said, a difference. I don't feel as bloated. PCOS makes me feel super bloated all the time, and I find both of those helping with that. And uh, I'm currently experimenting with the biotin. I am always experimenting. I'm always finding, trying to find stuff that helps, that are natural. There is no cure for PCOS, for those of you who don't know, but you can minimize the symptoms. Weight loss is the huge one, and then you keep it sort of at bay with all these other things. So I wanna show you my cystic acne, along with the weight loss and eating proper a proper diet like the foods I showed you, I also was prescribed by my doctor. This is the only medication that I take. Tricycline, it's the 21 day. This tricycline is specifically to help with acne, if you can see that on the package. And th the doctor gave it to me because my acne was so bad. My face was in pain because of all of the, the acne. It was so sore. So look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking this since I've been, I was diagnosed and I don't know, that's like almost 10 years now, I would say, or longer than 10 years actually. And I have pretty much clear skin all the time, just the occasional breakout during my menstrual cycle. That is it. So I don't know if you want to try this out, if that's something, you know, bring it up to your doctor. It has helped me majorly with the acne. Also, I found a very good skincare routine makes a huge difference. I had a ton of acne scars and doing a proper skincare routine with really good products has totally changed my skin. I barely have acne scars anymore. I do have makeup on so you can't really see but I do have some faded scars and that is it. My skin used to be awful. Okay, so skincare wise. These, I use these every night after I do my face wash and take my makeup off and everything. These are bright, brightening peel pads. It's basically like a facial peel, but it's just a pad that you, you know, wipe all over your face. Every night, it's by L'Oreal. They're like 15 bucks in Canada at Walmart. So if you're in the States, they're probably cheaper. You get about 30 of them, I think. So it lasts me a whole month. And let me tell you guys, has this ever made a difference in my complexion? It has evened out my skin tone, helped me fade some of the acne scars that I still had. These are amazing. If you can get your hands on these and you have acne scars and uneven skin tone, check these out. They are amazing. Um, and that's, you know, budget friendly. This L'Oreal Paris, it's a pure clay mask made for hydrating the skin. I use this once a week and this has made a huge difference because my skin gets super dry and definitely this has made a huge difference. Especially living in Canada in the winter, not only does PCOS do yuck to my skin, but the winter here, this saves your life. So I think this is about the same price, like 10 to 15 bucks at Walmart once a week, 20 minutes, good to go. And my current favorite, these are a little more expensive, but this is my current skincare routine. The, this stuff has changed my skin. This is Olay Henriksen. And I buy these off of Sephora. 
and this is the clean truth this is a foaming facial cleanser I use that twice a day morning and night um, at night I use just Walmart makeup remover cloths to get rid of my makeup then I wash my face and then I do the peel pad at night followed by this toner. I use the toner twice a day. This is supposed to be really gentle and hydrate your skin. This is called First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. So twice a day with that. In the morning, I use this serum after the toner. This is called the Truth Serum and it's Ole Hendrickson as well. And then I use this eye cream twice a day. The Olay Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I use that twice a day. And at night, I use this retinol. This is the uh, Drunk Elephant, uh, how, how, however you say that, a passionini retinol cream. So I use that at night. And this moisturizer is Drunk Elephant and it's the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I use that as a moisturizer in the morning and at night. And in the day to protect my skin. Um, I use this in the morning at the end of my skincare routine after I put my moisturizer on. This is my last step before makeup. This is the Shiseido, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Urban Environment Oil Free UV protector. So it is a sunscreen and it's SPF 42. And this is amazing before makeup. All of this has made a huge difference in my skin, ladies. Um, sometimes people go, oh, that's a lot. But let me tell you, my skin was a disaster because of PCOS. And now I am totally fine with going on camera with no makeup because my skin has drastically improved and I'm really proud of what it looks like now. Now, let me tell you about the hair stuff. This is the one last thing I wanna share with you guys. So the lovely thing about PCOS is that you lose it off of your head and your eyebrows apparently, but you gain it in the rest of your body. <laughs> so you get male pattern baldness and you also get the excess body hair that men get because you have extra testosterone. So, I have found the excess hair, unfortunately, it has not minimized from my weight loss. But I have found ways to reduce it. I do wax every two weeks. Yes, I have to wax every two weeks because the hair does not stop growing. It doesn't grow where I want it to grow, like on my eyebrows and my head, but it grows everywhere else. So, I wax my face. Um, my chin, my neck, Kyle makes fun of me, but I have to do it. <laughs> um, a tip, I buy, because I have to do it so much, I buy the ones for legs and body, and I get the, the bonus pack. This is Parissa Wax Strips. I've been using these for like two decades. I love them because they come in big strips like this, and I can cut them to fit where I want. So, you know, across my jawline and stuff where I get a lot of excess facial hair and my like lip and stuff, these are amazing. So that's a tip, get the ones for body and legs because you get so much more. If you buy the face ones, you don't get as much. This is a better bang for your buck. So if you're like me and you're constantly having to do facial hair removal, doing it yourself with these, it's amazing. If I may make a slight in interjection here. Uh-huh. I don't make fun of you for waxing. I make fun of you how you wax. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> because you're a baby. I have to go like this. She has to, like, One, psych two, herself three. up. <laughs> and the, on the three, she doesn't always tear it away. She's hesitating and pausing and you, psyching herself up in the mirror to rip it off. You would think I don't do it as often as I do. The second thing, I I get like jealous when girls say like they don't have to shave every day. I literally need to shave every single day. At the end of the day, I have stubble on my legs. Like it's ridiculous. My hair just grows and grows and grows. So these are my favorite razors for those of you that 
you know, really struggle with that. And if I used shaving cream, I would need like a, I need a lifetime stock. <laughs> so I use body wash. That's it. Moisturizing body wash to shave because I would run out of cans like nuts, like crazy. So I use these razors. I find shaving every day with just moisturizing body wash. These last two weeks, two full weeks of shaving every day. This is the Venus Tropical. It's the three blade. And I love this value pack of nine. It lasts me a really long time and it's $20 in Canada. So if you can find it in the States, it'll probably be cheaper there. And I find this pack at Walmart. These are amazing, ladies. This, this razor, it's, it's the only one that works to help me shave. Um, you know every single day and it doesn't cut my skin or give me rashes or anything like that it doesn't irritate me so I Hope that this really helped you um, I know what it's like to be diagnosed with PCOS you feel relieved, but at the same time you're like Well now what do I do? So I really wanted to make this video and reach out to you ladies who are struggling with this Even though there isn't a cure there is hope you can minimize your symptoms. You can feel feminine even when all this stuff is going on. I still feel feminine. I still, you know, am girly. You can minimize the symptoms. And, you know, as I learn new things, I'm always experimenting. I will always share an update with you ladies. Just know you're not alone. There are tons of women struggling with PCOS and we are all here as a community to help each other and share what we've learned and what works. Just know they say it's really difficult to lose weight with PCOS. You can lose. I've lost 130 pounds. I have pretty, I would say pretty severe PCOS. And also I forgot to say without the birth control pill, I don't get a period. So just so you ladies know, that can be normal. Um, and I just want you to know you're not alone. I am here with you. Any questions you have, please leave them down below. Um, anything that works for you, feel free to share. I am always trying to learn and I'm sure everyone watching would love, you know, for you guys to share if you found something that works. So please share, love each other, be patient with those that don't have eyebrows. And <laughs> don't forget to check us out on Instagram at the Colette's or just got all kinds of cool tips on there. I'm, I just shared some cool stuff in the story, some transformations. We're doing question and answers there. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing, mm, so get there. <laughs> at the Colette's. And don't forget, turn on that little bell for notifications so you don't miss any of these fabulous videos. Oh, you'll be sad, okay? Don't be sad if you miss it. So click the bell, then you won't miss it. And don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? Or what? Or what? This is the measuring cup antlers of doom. The measuring cup antlers. Of like bunny doom. ears. Now they're ears. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Bye, guys.